So I just thought we could take a look and uh, so look at that. 54 spent, 57 spent. Didn't get into this far, but that's what I mean, right? Like when they're coming in and they're getting hit from a long range weapon, they will decide to go and run after that weapon. So when these guys are offering support to me and cover, basically what they're doing is they're drawing Uh, zombies towards it. Now the interesting thing on this one is I should double check to make sure that none of these foundations need repairing. This one looks like it does. It does. Um, and the only reason I say that is Where that trebuchet pointing that way towards base number two is situated, they can't pass to that. So, um, oh, there's an eagle. Don't need it though. First time I killed an eagle in this game, I felt so bad. It's like I didn't realize it. And I looked, it's like, it's an eagle. That's terrible. Anyways. Um, they can't pass to the treb that's on the back there and because they can't pass to that they may just decide to beat the base um, personally I think the base can take it for a little bit um, you know, and then eventually they would uh, leave it alone and you know start coming back to where they need to but I think that's what made uh, platform number two a little bit easier to deal with um, for the longest time it didn't seem like there was big guys the bosses exploders whites greens slash yellows whatever you want to call them um, just didn't seem like they were there and uh, that made it a little bit easier to deal with and I think that might have been uh, because base five, yeah, base five. And the beast were firing at them and so they were kind of running away. Like, I don't know if you noticed when we got to base five uh, for uh, wave 42. Uh, some of the traps were already used and so I actually had to fill them up. Anyways, uh, that's it. Uh, I will see you for the Horde Night tonight. Wave Night tonight. Thanks. Cheers. And welcome back to Night of the Dead. It is day 42, wave 43. And I'm getting a little bit of late start getting prepped. I just finished upgrading uh, platform number threes back to um, steel, iron, and uh, I did it. The door doors always seem to fall off when I upgrade. Uh, and so then I had to put the door back up and take it all the way up to steel as well. Uh, but you know what? It's all done. I spent the day out running around. I uh, explored more up into this area. I was actually off the map for a while. And uh, yeah. I got some more uh, iron, quite a bit more iron. Take that, 
down. Put that there. Put that there. My food will wane in a bit, so we will... Oh, let's make some arrows too. Let's just make... So I picked up about another 80 iron, uh, which basically just paid for my upgrades because uh, that takes about 30 iron or so to upgrade the back area. I picked up some more copper. Um, and kind of what I was saying last uh, video is, you know, if you want to be able to build and be able to make larger, bigger bases, um, you really need to go out and explore and not just the city um, but you know the surrounding areas because that's really kind of where um, things are really going to take shape where you're going to get a lot of resources and here they come and this looks like it is a butcher right off the bat <laughs> well we 40 Three is not messing around. Don't crouch. Just move over a bit. You're gonna want to get four in because he's taking a lot. Let's just make sure we're back up good. That took a lot of damage last time, partly because of me. Yeah. See, this is where the spear kind of slides across. Can I run up? Nope. Okay. That was worthwhile though. So when they start to pile up at the front there, the great thing about the trebs is they're just going to thin those guys out. And can I get even more? Oh, I can now. I thought it was one of the 150. Gonna hurt.
Okay, I'm not fighting him anymore. I don't have any gas on me. Ah, uh, dang it. I knew I was going to forget something. Okay, this base tonight's not going to go very well. That's what I get for exploring till so late. I didn't get back to the base area until almost 2300. Hold down the left key. Another guy. I've got me again. They're quite close. So that, I kind of messed up on that one. Not having any, uh, they're starting to come up that way. Here they come. And are they starting to come down from there? Let me see that yet. Let me get forward here. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's all off there. So I got this all upgraded, which was good. I can't believe I forgot my name. It's going to make this night, yeah, it's going to make this night a lot harder. Open that door. That mess up with the, with the uh,
Okay, so I've got a couple of reloads in. It is after 2 a.m. They're still coming from down below. That means the 2 a.m. winds may not even be here yet. the first time they've jumped up from the backside. They must be coming in from a different angle, not having that gas on me really messed up this night. How far behind me are they? Whoa, there are a lot of exploders coming. Okay, that must be the um, Stay back, stay back. I gotta make sure those guys are exploding back there. Oh, gosh, done. And another one. Let's take some food. I just got to try and get control of this situation for a bit. They are still... S well, I did say I wanted more exciting, didn't I? Okay, I'm just... I'm just going to get out of here and go to the next place. Might have been a little bit early. Holy cow, did you see all those crawlers coming in? That was kind of funny. Okay. And it looks like there is no bear that I can see. What's coming? Doesn't look like any exploders are at the front of that, so this shouldn't be too bad. Get back. Move this up. Okay, I just needed to get control of that situation. There we go. There's an exploder. Keep it back. Second exploder goes off. Are they still... Doesn't look like I see any coming from behind me. I don't mind taking 
Sun Gun. You're just hitting wood right now. Because they're so far back. Here we go. For the exploders. That's not fair. That's just the bosses getting picked off that they can't get me from the front. Exploder. Seriously? getting ridiculous today. Okay. Open. That's right. There are still one heck of a lot of zombies. Eventually they will get far enough forward. So now do I go back to the big base after this? Or do I go and try and retake number one? I'm leaning towards me to go into number one myself. I'm just causing damage to my own traps right now. And it does seem to be calming down out there. Stop beating on my base. The music stopped, but that doesn't always mean anything. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Um, yeah. That went, well, different. And that's one of the things that's uh, kind of cool about this game. It's what I like about it is, you know, in playing Seven Days to Die, um, you know, the Horde Knights all start to become very similar. I mean, yeah, they ramp up, you start getting the irradiated ferals, and, you know, the zombies get harder, and, and that, but really, it just follows the same the same story every time. And, uh, You know, so what do you do? You try and find another way to make coordinate a little bit more exciting, or you know, maybe you don't. Maybe you're a builder or something like that. But you know, for the most part, coordinate is you know just the same thing over and over and over again. 
and it just gets a little bit harder. This one, they, they come in so many different ways and styles and you know the order that they come in makes a huge difference in terms of how your your base is going to perform. Um, <laughs> it also helps if you remember to bring gasoline with you to fill up your flame sword. Uh, you know, I can uh, attest that that really was a bit of a mistake. Um, well, okay, more than a bit of a mistake. But yeah, it really makes uh, the nights so much different. And shockingly enough, uh, even though this one seemed to go um, horribly wrong uh, with the mistake and having to leave the um, base number two so much earlier because of the uh, lack of resources to gasoline. Um, The night ended early. Like I haven't had my 4 a.m. and here I'm getting it right now. Okay, here's the 4 a.m. one. Let's just take care of this guy and then I'll sign off for the day. Okay. Well, there we have it. I'll just load this up just in case uh, something comes along. There we go. That was a uh, wave 43. Very interesting night. Okay. Uh, I hope everything goes well for you and I will see you on wave 44. Cheers.